Hello and welcome to another episode of Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff Inc. We are the Tough Book Experts. I'm your host, Sally, and today we will be doing a parts review on a CF30 Panasonic Tough Book part, specifically the DVD multi drive. With this DVD multi drive, we will cover format compatibility, general aspects such as specifications, as well as leave the floor open for questions and answers. So at the end of the video, I will allow you to ask questions in the comments and put in your personal input as to what you think about this specific part. So thank you once again for tuning in and we'll get right into this general overview, shall we? Read support formats for the DVD multi-drive are CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, DVD-RAM, DVD rewritable, CD recordable, and CD rewritable. The write support for the DVD multi drive are DVD RAM, DVD recordable, DVD rewritable, CD recordable, and CD rewritable. Specifications for this unit specifically, the dimensions are 5.2 inches by 5. 0.9 inches by 0.6 inches. The weight for this unit is 230 grams or 0.51 pounds. The operating voltage range is 5 volts by 2.5 volts. The cache memory being 2 megabytes. The operating temperature slash humidity range 5 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius or 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. This unit can only be used with the Panasonic CF30. Thank you once again for tuning in here at Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff Inc. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment at the bottom of the video. Also, if you enjoyed the video today, don't hesitate to hit that like button labeled with the thumbs up at the bottom of the video. Also, if you would like to see more Tough Book Repair videos, reviews, and Q&A, please subscribe to our channel. So once again, we hope you learned something today. We hope that this was very informative to you. And thank you once again for tuning in here at Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff Inc. We are the Tough Book Experts. Until next time. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer.